Hello, my name is Amber and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do my spring book haul. It has been a minute since we've done a haul and I have quite a few books, so let's just jump right in. First book I'm going to be hauling is The Near Witch by B.E. Schwab. I got a copy when it went back into print. It was originally written under Victoria, but because it went into print under uh, the publisher who publishes it under V.E., it is now under V.E., it is about you probably guessed it, a witch. really don't know a ton about it, um, however, I am super excited to get to this. In the March, I picked up the Book of the Month copy of Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Uh, this is about Daisy Jones and the Six. Uh, obviously, it is considered like a Fleetwood Mac kind of-esque story, and it's told in interview format. I've heard that the audiobook is actually really good. Um, but I'm super excited to get to this one. Picked up The Shadow Glass by Rin Chupico. This is the last book in the Bone Witch trilogy and I am, this is the book that I'm now at. I'm super excited to get to it and I just love the covers of this series so I'm super excited to get to this. Also picked up Song of the Dead which is the uh, finale in the Reign of the Fallen duology by Sarah Glenn Marsh. I have picked up and read on the Come Up by Angie Thomas, which is her sophomore novel following Brie, an aspiring rapper who lives in the same town that Star from her debut novel lives in. I picked up King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. It takes place in the Grishaverse following Nikolai, which also takes place after the events of Six of Crows. However, I have not actually gotten to this. This is my, my only uh, Lee Bardugo book that I haven't read, and I'm kind of holding off on picking it up. Next, I decided to pick up The Case for Jane Me by Brittany Calvero. This is definitely because Rocky from Blonde with a Book reminded me that the paperback for this book came out. I still have to read The Last of August, but I'm super excited to continue on with this series. This is a uh, series about the descendants of Sherlock and Watson and it takes place at a boarding school. Diary of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. This is a standalone high fantasy series that involves dragons. I went to my local used bookstore and I traded in some books and got some books so I'm going to show you those next. Cat Fever 1793 by Lori Halse Anderson. Uh, I definitely had never read this one when I was in uh, middle school, high school age, but I absolutely loved a pre another work by this author, so my partner had said I might like this one, so I picked this. Uh, Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. The movie has come out, and I definitely really like this cover, plus it's a nice floppy paperback. Got Meridian, which has an author who has the same first name as me, and I believe it is about a girl who is half fairy, um, and it's got one of those nice, lovely uh, early 2000s covers. Um, and this was my freebie for... But I also got Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence. I know that it's grim dark. I also picked up Mouse by John Gwynn. Uh, my friend Brandy was talking about this one on Twitter uh, like the same day that I went to the bookstore. So I went ahead and picked this one up. I didn't really know much about it but she was talking about it and I was like ooh. Um, I'm going to pick this one up so I picked this. I also picked up the Hex Hall trilogy by Rachel Hawkins which includes Hex Hall, Spellbound, and Demon Glass. Ready reading the books with Dylan. Uh, I've read the first one and I hadn't read the other two. I picked up this really pretty edition of Anna Karina. I read this, I like to collect really pretty editions of the classics once I've actually read them. I don't like to collect them out prior to reading them and I read this one a couple of years back and it, I had a coupon um, at Barnes and Noble and I really like this edition. Uh, so I went ahead and collected that and picked up A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Br Bridge Camarier. Uh, this is was the Loosely Bound Book Club pick of the month for the month of April. Uh, so I went ahead and picked this one up. I also picked up the newest Karen Slaughter book. I got the UK edition in the editions that I have been picking up. This one is called Pieces of Her. I've been placed in order on thrift books. An entire trilogy. I got The Ghost and the God, Queen of the Dead, and Body and Soul by Stacey Cade. Um, I could not find these books anywhere else. And look at that cover. Super glad I picked up Fake Blood, which is a vampire graphic, no middle grade graphic novel. Also picked up Spell on Wheels. I had a gift card, so I figured I'd pick this one up because I super loved it when I read it. And The Beast Girl, uh, because it is a standalone uh, Yuri graphic novel. And lastly, I got The Last Namasar, uh, which I think is has to do with dragons. Definitely not gonna be able to pick everything up. Everything that I got since the beginning of the year 
What if you, about you? Have you hauled anything interesting recently? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like what you saw here today, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and have a nice day.